Hello, everyone, and welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is your second installment of Connecting with Your Inner Feminine. Yes, um, I've done this once already, um, and you can find that video uh, in my in, on my channel. Um, and I did title that one Connecting with Your Inner Feminine, but I'm shortening it, so we're just saying this is just titled Your Inner Feminine, okay? But we are here doing this reading, um, having this little conversation in order to help you connect more with your inner feminine in this reading, in this video, and then in the, and this is a part of a two part, a dual series, yes, in which in one video we look at the feminine, in the other video we look at the masculine. Now, this is inspired, it is born of the uh, twin flame situation. For those of you that are new to my channel, um, who may not have been, you know, new enough to the channel where you didn't see when I was doing these before, but I started my channel by doing twin flame readings, um, and I was guided to, but I also chose to take some time away from that so that I could go through my own process of healing. And since I have been called back into doing it, um, but instead of doing it the same way I did in the past, what I decided to do was to break the, break it apart a little bit and just, um, bring forward some guidance in how to connect with the inner masculine or the inner feminine. Me personally, I am, or energetically, I am on the feminine side, okay? In the twin flame situation, you could consider me the divine feminine. Um, now, keep in mind that masculine and feminine, when we talk about masculine and feminine in these readings, we are not talking about gender. Gender has nothing to do with this. Physical gender has nothing to do with this. We are talking about energy okay we are talking about energetic resonance we are talking about energetic realities and keep in mind that each and every one of us has both masculine and feminine energies that combine within us to make us who we are obviously these are all in unique proportions to whomever we are individually however we do have both of these energies and in order to reach a what we would call twin flame union in the external world we need to reach that sort of union within between the masculine and the feminine energies now you do not have to resonate with or be on a twin flame journey in order to get benefit from these readings from these videos again everybody's got masculine and feminine energy within and it would only serve to better your life if you were to work on building or developing that relationship within yourself okay so, we're gonna get into it. Um, uh, we're, we're focusing on the feminine in this reading here, okay? And I have a number of, uh, uh, a list of questions, a list of things that I wanna look into here, and I have a, a number of tarot decks that I'm going to be using for each question, and then I'm going to be closing out the reading with oracle guidance, and I'm doing that, I'm getting the oracle guidance from the Love Your Inner Goddess uh, Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild, yes? All right, kids. So without further ado, let's get into this. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved in terms of our inner feminine energies. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, got kids. So keep in mind that this is, in fact, a general reading. All right, I am doing this reading on behalf of the collective. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and if you would like to do more of a, a personal one, like if you would like to have this as a personal reading to get more personal messages for yourself, please don't hesitate to email me. Yes, all the my, my email address is in the description box below. I haven't quite added these readings to like my official roster of readings that I offer, um, but that's okay. If you do want one, go ahead and email me and I would be very, very happy to get that going for you, okay? So first, first thing I wanna look at here, on terms uh, or on behalf of your inner feminine, the inner divine feminine, what is the current state of your inner feminine? 
okay in other words what are the current surrounding energies what is your inner feminine facing right now what is your inner fem what is the yeah what is your inner feminine facing right now what is her current energetic vibration where is she at for the inner feminine and for this i am using the book of shadows tarot specifically the as below i'm sorry the so below deck this this um, this deck is a two part deck as above so below as above incorporates um, astrological stuff and a lot more witchcraft things and like um, practices and whatnot. The so below deck, which is the one I'm using right now, is the more traditional tarot deck. Yes. All right. So for your inner feminine, what is her current energetic state right now? Okay, one more shuffle. All right, for your inner feminine here. So what's your current state, inner feminine? What's, what's going on for you right now? What are you facing? What are you dealing with? How are you feeling? What's up, homegirl? <laughs> Let's see here. What's that? This is the three of pentacles. Okay, the three of pentacles and the three of cups. Very interesting. This is good. This is very good. Overall energy, we have the Six of Wands. All right. So what I'm getting from this right now is your inner feminine um, is really working on herself. Self-mastery, first of all, is what I'm getting with this, three car this card, the Three of Pentacles. All right. Um, and with the Three of Cups here, this is a union card, okay? Um, but it's a card mostly of, well, no, not mostly. This could be either an external union in like a celebration, getting together with friends or family, coming together with, you know, a, a significant other or whatnot, whatever. It's just the Three of Cups has more of a community aspect to it than like, say, a romantic aspect. Um, at least in my opinion. But also I see this card as a, a union within, a union between body, mind, and spirit, the, the, the holy trinity, yes? So that could also be um, masculine, feminine, and child, man, woman, and child, right? Um, that could be your inner masculine, your inner feminine, and also your inner child, all coming together. Th this, is what I, this is what the feminine is focused on right now. Self-mastery, Okay, mastering herself or in terms of like if you are a man that is more on the feminine side, um, mastering himself. Okay, there could be um, a lot of creative expression coming through right now for the feminine feeling like she wants to creatively uh, express herself somehow. Um, and this is actually something that came through last in the last reading last week. Um, being focused on maybe some hobbies, how, you know, what, what she likes to do in her free time. Some things that are meaningful to her, but are outside of what we would consider mundane work or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, there's also a focus on joy, a focus on having fun. That's what I'm picking up here also. And then overall energy, you have the six of wands, okay? which is so crazy. First of all, you have a master number here with three and three, okay? So uh, I, I do wanna say that the Ascended Masters are very much um, in tune with working with the inner, your inner feminine to help heal certain circumstances, to help bring you into balance, into harmony, into union, to help get you creatively expressing yourself again if that's what you desire to do. Um, but then also three and three combined create six. OK, and what I'm seeing with the six of wands here, especially with it depicted as, you know, overcoming some obstacles like climbing a mountain and whatnot. Um, there is a lot of work going on right now um, on behalf of the feminine to overcome some of the obstacles that may have been holding her back in the past. And a lot of this has to do with self-mastery. But self-mastery in terms of... Um, Mastering her mind, mastering her thoughts, clearing out any sort of cobwebs, clearing out anything that no longer serves her well-being or her highest good. Something that I forgot to mention 
in the beginning of this reading. Um, this is These readings between the masculine and the feminine, this is to look at your inner reality, okay? So you may be able to get a glimpse of what's going on with a, a physical counterpart in the external, but the intention here is to really get an idea of what is going on with your inner being or your inner reality, okay? Um, I just, I want to get some clarification on this. I feel like I want to pull more and I want to use a different deck here. So I'm going to go to my clarification deck. This is the Dreaming Way Tarot. Um, no, a different deck. Okay. Use the clarifying deck there. All right. So I just want to get a little bit more info on this. I want to go a little bit deeper here on specifically, I guess, what is the feminine facing right now? Okay. So yes, she's working on her skills. She's working on self-mastery. She's working on, I'm hearing setting some goals, maybe even planning for the future. Okay. And all of this energy, this, uh, this work that she's doing on an internal level is absolutely setting herself up for success in the future in whatever way, shape or form that may resonate the most with you. All right. So let's get a little bit of clarity here. Just a little bit more, please, Spirit, on what the inner feminine is facing right now. Because I feel like there's a little more message coming through here. I'm seeing kind of, I'm almost seeing the devil. Ooh, okay, the three of wands. Yes, with judgment. Okay. Overall energy is the seven of pentacles. Excellent. Um, now, I was seeing... I was kind of seeing the devil card in my in my in my mind's eye in my head, um, and that was already kind of saying to me that that the inner feminine may be really focused on doing some shadow work right now, facing her inner demons. And then, so what we have here with the three of wands, the judgment, and the seven of pentacles, okay, is actually kind of corroborating that or or confirming that for me because right now there is an energy of answering a sort of call to maybe, maybe get on your path, get back on your path, get back to who you are, get back to what you want, get back to what truly makes you happy, what fills you with joy, um, that kind of thing. And all of this is in terms of, with an overall energy of the Seven of Pentacles, this has a lot to do with all of the things that she's really experienced in the past. The Seven of Pentacles is a Virgo energy. And at the time that I am reading, recording this reading, it is, we are in Virgo season, okay? Um, but the Seven of Pentacles is also an, uh, an energy of a harvest, okay? So what it feels like here is whatever, the, 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 whatever your inner feminine has faced in the past, any obstacles, obstacles she's working on surmounting here, yes, have all, number one, served to get her to this point that she's in right now, where she can consciously focus on bringing herself into union with her inner masculine, um, becoming whole again, figuring out who she is, figure out what it is, figuring out what it is she stands for. Maybe if these were some things that you already understood, maybe redefining them or getting a little bit clearer on them. It just really feels like now is the time, it, it's like the, your inner feminine is consciously choosing to go in a different direction, to sow different seeds, to harvest, to, 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 to have a different harvest. I don't want to say a better harvest. I want to say a different harvest, okay? Um, and I guess the fact that it would be a better harvest is kind of implied in terms of this seven of pentacles energy. Having been going through uh, things in the past that may not have been desirable for her. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, in my opinion, is also an energy of learning what you want through the contrast, yes? So again, whatever it is she's experienced in the past has helped her identify what it is on a greater level, of course, what it is she wants versus what it is she doesn't want. And now it seems that she is answering this call of moving towards what it is she truly desires, Three of Wands, the judgment, okay? There are, I mean, look at this. Look, we officially have, we officially have 333. The Ascendant Masters are very much hiding, helping and guiding you through this situation. So if you are an individual that is more of the masculine orientation energetically, I would absolutely recommend that you call upon the Ascended Masters, your angels, whatever, your spirit team to really help you along with this, okay?
This is a beautiful energy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So with that said, now our next thing that I want to look into are what, is, what are the current challenges that your inner feminine is facing? Okay. Um, <laughs> judgment wanted to come back out from the clarifying deck. All right. Uh, the current challenge or lessons that your inner feminine is facing. Okay, for that question, I'm going to be using the uh, Wild Unknown Tarot, okay? So, what are the current challenges or lessons that your divine inner divine feminine, that your inner feminine is facing right now? For the inner feminine, what are the challenges? What are the lessons she's facing? What is it that she's dealing with? What are the obstacles in her way that she is working on overcoming with this Six of Wands energy? The Six of Wands also is a card, is an energy of victory. Ooh, we've got the star that wanted to pop out. Wow. The star, the world, and the chariot with the hanged man again. Boy, oh boy. First of all, all major arcana energies, okay? Second of all, the hanged man came out consistently in the previous reading right before this one. So uh, I believe it was titled A Change in Perspective. Well, that your inner feminine right now is still working on changing her perspective. But what it feels like here is she is doing very, very well with this, especially with the Six of Wands being an overall energy in her current state, okay? We have the chariot, we have the hanged man, we have the star, and we have the world. So uh, overcoming these obstacles and changing her perspective is helping her get into greater balance, greater alignment, especially emotionally with the chariot here, okay? Which is allowing her to start really moving in the direction of what she truly desires versus what it is she has been, in some cases, forced to uh, uh, align with or um, obligated to or influenced through external forces towards moving towards, manifesting, whatnot, whatever. But now, especially with the star here, well, between the star and the world, there is a focus on authenticity that is allowing the, your inner feminine to close out some major overarching cycles. And that is all having to do with this change in perspective that she's currently focused on working through. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take this, I want to take this hanged man energy and I want to get a little bit more of a clearer definition of it specifically, all right? Because obviously um, the change in perspective right now is still the challenge for the, your inner feminine, just like it was last week. So what we're going to do is I want to get a little bit more clarity on this and I'm just going to use the same deck here, um, but I just want to get a little bit more information, you know, for this reading on this change in perspective that the divine feminine, your inner feminine also, that, or the divine feminine, however you want to say it, is faced with, is challenged by. So, okay, excellent. The four of swords with the queen of swords, not done yet. Hold on, let's get a little bit, oh, there it is. Okay, with the daughter of wands, or in this case, the page of wands, all right? Self-discovery. I see the page of wands, or in this in this card, in this deck, it's the daughter, but I see the page of wands as a as a minor arcana version of the hanged man, not the hanged man. I'm sorry, the hermit, in which the hermit is a major arcana energy that represents going on a path of inner discovery. Um, what I'm getting specifically with the daughter or page of wands here is there is a sense of innocence that your inner feminine is working on gaining or reachieving. I'm very much getting a sense of uh, the inner child energies here. What do we have? The oof, the eight of cups, the eight of pentacles. We have temperance, the three of cups again, and now the father or king of wands. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. That's really interesting. So this change in perspective for your divine inner feminine 
your inner feminine or your divine, fe your uh, whatever. This change in perspective for your inner feminine here um, has everything to do with walk away, walking away from some from things that no longer serves her and working on building that which really does serve her. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, you have the Queen, or in this deck, the Mother of Swords with the Four of Swords. So there is definitely an energy of taking her power back is what I'm hearing. Um, being in a restful state, in a meditative state, okay? And cutting out all of the things that are superfluous. Cutting out all of the things that no longer serve her. That is the work that she's doing right now. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, okay? We have the King of Wands with Temperance and the Three of Cups. This is absolutely helping bring the masculine and feminine energies within her or, or you know, within you together. Okay, we have the Three of Cups again. So really, the focus for your feminine right now is... Balance, harmony, union within. Temperance is a card, another union card, okay? This is literally the card of balancing opposing energies or compounds to create something new, or create a greater whole, yes? So this actually, the temperance card can be seen as a twin flame union card. But this is all really in the internal. There is a sense of gaining confidence with this father or king of wands energy here self-belief gaining the confidence and the, even the creative confidence to move forward with what it is she's doing with what it, what i'm hearing is move forward with what it is she wants to see uh manifest in her life okay that's that is really beautiful you guys really really beautiful okay excellent so now what i want to get into here is what does your inner feminine want you to know? For that, we're going with the golden universal tarot here. What messages does your inner feminine have for you? What does your inner feminine want you to know? And what I'm hearing is her, actually hearing the inner feminine say, what do, this is what I need you to know to help you to connect with me. This is what I need you to know about me right now. This is what I want to tell you about what I actually have to say personally about the energetic state I'm in right now, where I am going, where I, ooh, I just heard where I need you to be in order for us to connect fully. Okay. All right. So what does your inner feminine want you to know? Last shuffle here. Okay, let's see what we've got. So, Inner Feminine, what do you want us to know right now about you, about where you are, about your energetic state here? There it is, the hermit. She's definitely in hermit mode. Knight of Cups. I'm going to keep going here. Hermit, Knight of Cups. Ooh. Oh boy. All right. Overall energy. We've got the King of Cups here. We also have the Six of Wands again, the Three of Swords now, the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Eight, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Fool, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. All right. My inner feminine, this sure is a lot. Well, you know, I like to talk. I've got a lot to say. Okay. <laughs> Not a problem. So the inner feminine right now really is in a journey of self-discovery, of deeper, greater self-discovery, okay? Um, we have the Six of Wands again, which is great. We have the Eight of Cups again, which is great. We now have the Eight of Wands. Um, give me a second, guys. I'm just, I'm trying to put all this together here. Your inner feminine wants you to know right now that she is working very hard, very diligently on overcoming heartbreak and also conflict, I want to say. But overcoming heartbreak 
okay? And letting go, releasing. Letting go of the past, letting go of the past hurts, letting go of any sort of sense of unrequited love, releasing herself from any sense of boredom that she may be experiencing. All right, she's really becoming a brand new individual, the fool, okay? That's way more confident and badass than she's ever been. Queen of Wands has really working on leveling up, gaining a new perspective, yes, but also manifesting the reality that comes with that new perspective. Page of Pentacles, healing her heart, living with a more open heart or living from a place of um, an open heart, living from a more of a place of, of vulnerability. I'm also picking up specifically that she's kind of opening up to her inner masculine, maybe even an external masculine, King of Cups. in an energy of taking re emotional responsibility. And it's very interesting because what I'm feeling with this King of Cups energy, for those masculines out there that are watching on behalf of a feminine or on behalf of, you know, working with, guy working with connecting with your inner feminine, okay? Um, it is your desire, masculine, to connect with her that is influencing this shift for her. That is influencing her to go within and understand herself on a deeper level, clear up any of the discrepancies, get over the heartbreak, walk away from anything that no longer serves her, move towards her satisfaction. Eight of cups, nine of cups, eight of wands, and moving swiftly, very quickly indeed. There's also, on a more specific level, there's also a desire to communicate that I'm picking up on. If you have been, uh, take this with a grain of salt, but if you have been feeling like reaching out, connecting with your inner, with maybe an external feminine, maybe you should follow through with that. I'm just, that's just what I'm picking up here because I do feel, on behalf of the feminine, I do feel a desire to communicate, to talk about things, to talk things through, to see things, to see how things are going, you know, whatever. I don't know. Take, take that as it resonates for you. That might be a really small, small specific message or a specific message for a small group of people, but your inner feminine wants you to know that she has a brand new start in front of her in her focus, the fool, leaving the past behind, starting a new chapter. But this is in fact something that she is very focused on in the internal, all right? She's not really worried about what happens externally anymore, or at least she's getting to that place where she doesn't have any expectations on the internal or of, of, of the external reality because she is very much focused on keeping herself balanced on an internal level and manifesting her desires by being the vibrational match to it, which, in, which takes understanding herself on a better level, the hermit, queen of wands and the fool. Okay, with an overall energy of the King of Cups here, it's the shift in the masculine energy, the desire to connect with the feminine that is influencing her to now start kind of basically breaking out of her shell. Start emerging from the darkness and be like, okay, well, maybe I can, maybe I can look at this differently. All right, maybe I don't have to be so stubborn about it. Maybe I don't have to be such a bitch about it. Maybe I don't have to be so angry about it. Maybe, okay, maybe I can look at this differently. I mean, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have to be that nonchalant or apathetic or whatnot, but I mean, I'm just kind of being dramatic, but you guys get the, <laughs> you get it. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So now, with all that said, let's look into some of the action steps that you can take in order to connect further with your inner feminine, all right? And for this, I'm using the uh, Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. 
one more shuffle here. So action steps that you can take in order to connect on a deeper level or connect more with your inner feminine right now. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Action steps. What can we do? <laughs> the chariot, the two of coins. What can we do to, to, to action steps that we can take to connect with your inner feminine? Obviously, balance is a big part of that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Overall energy, we have the two of wands. Okay, we have the two of pentacles with the chariot and the ace of wands in reverse. Very interesting. Okay. This feels really good, you guys. I'm not going to lie. This does feel really good. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm channeling through the energy right now, I'm channeling the message, and I'm trying to pick out the best words to tr translate what I'm picking up on here. There is a need, uh, there, there is a need to make some sort of choice. Two of Wands here. And then we have the Ace of Wands, which is, which has come out in reverse, okay? Um, what I'm getting is, your inner feminine, in order to connect with your inner feminine more, she needs you to get balanced already and just make this, make a freaking choice. <laughs> okay, but with that, she's saying the reason why you haven't been able to take up this wand or to move in this direction or to make this choice is because you have not been balanced truly with what it is you truly desire or want. That's what I'm getting with this chariot energy. There are There is too much influence from others on the table. Balance, harmony, two of pentacles, okay? Bringing, you, bringing your life into balance on a physical level, uh, which would be influenced by bringing yourself into balance on an energetic or even emotional level. The chariot, I'm getting an energy of, and I'm gonna clarify this a little bit more, but I'm getting an energy, what, what, what this feels like, what it feels like, I guess she is saying, is that in order for you to really connect with her, you have to get that balance together. You have to start integrating that part of yourself. You can't neglect one side of yourself for favor of the other. That is, in fact, incomplete. And I, what I feel like here is the desire to have a greater balance within yourself is enough for you to start bringing this into balance. You have to be willing to accept who your inner feminine is and what she stands for. If not, you are forever going to be at war with yourself. I mean, that's just logically speaking, you guys. There is an opportunity that has been, and I really feel like I'm speaking to the masculine here. Which would make perfect sense. But there is... And I'll, okay, okay, I don't have to be speaking to the masculine. I could be speaking to individuals that do resonate more on the feminine side, but are looking for ways to connect with more of their inner feminine being. But there has been an opportunity in front of you for the longest time, and yet you've been choosing not to take it up, Ace of Wands, in reverse. Or maybe it's been blocked. It does feel like it's been blocked. For some of you, it's been a choice not to take it up. But that in, its, in and of itself is the blockage right there. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get some clarification on this. But I really, what I feel like this is really saying here 
is that you need to really, especially with, in the, with the feminine saying that she's in this hermit mode right now, uh, that she's in this process of going through some greater self-discovery, um, there are some desires here that you have that you haven't been allowing yourself to pursue. And maybe you've been juggling too much, two of coins, two of pentacles. But what really, what this feels like, this two of pentacles, what this feels like is energetically coupled with the chariot, you need to bring your physical representation into balance with your spiritual reality. Your physical reality needs to come into balance with your spiritual reality. I feel like you're at odds at, at, in some way with your spiritual being versus your physical being. And this really could be at, at, you, you're at odds between spirit and ego. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then I do wanna get a little bit of clarity on him, on this. So help us, please, Spirit, help us understand what this message is a little bit more here. Page of Swords, okay. Nine of Pentacles, that's enough. All right, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Cups again, okay. Seven of Wands and the Chariot again. Look at that. Overall energy, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Um, so here we go, Feminine or inner feminine on behalf of the inner feminine. Nine of Pentacles is an energy of autonomy, of um, independence, abundance, hard work paying off. The feminine has been really working very hard right now to gain some sort of independence, gain some sort of sovereignty, claim her power back, claim her autonomy. And yet, in doing that, there has been a hard defensiveness that's come forward because of it. Like you really needed to wall things off, potentially. Makes perfect sense. But now it's time, now it's time to break out of that and to start living with your heart on your sleeve a little more. We have the Knight of Cups that's come out again. And that, to me, it just feels like your heart opening up. Okay, there needs to be, especially the, with the Six of Pentacles being an overall energy, there needs to be harmony again. There needs to be a balance between give and take again. This focus on being in an independent state has kind of tipped the scales a little bit to a bit of imbalance, and now it's time to bring that balance back. Page of Swords, I feel like the masculine is watching the feminine and desiring to connect, but the feminine has been really walled off. Sorry, seven of wands is what I really meant to hold. Well, no, also has been walled off. Nine of pentacles, seven of wands. But in order to, so in order to connect with the feminine more, okay, a choice needs to be made. You need to be willing to be independent. You need to be willing to bring your desires, your emotions into balance on behalf of you, not because of someone else, not because of, you know, someone else tells you to, like even me, um, and not because of not because not for any other reason than your own authenticity and truth. This message feels weird. It feels twisted and convoluted, but hopefully it's coming across to the people that need to hear it. The, the, what's necessary here is to bring yourself into balance. That's the biggest thing that I'm getting here from an authentic point of view, nine of pentacles from an individual point of view. There is a need and a desire to get connected with what you want on an emotional level. And to make the choice to pursue that, take up that wand. 
and say, you know what? Fuck it. I am going to do that. This is what I true this is what I truly want. So you know what? I'm going to go for it. The inner feminine needs you to be bold. The inner fe your inner feminine needs you to be your own person. Your inner feminine needs you to be a free thinker. Your inner feminine needs you to understand the balance between give and take, reciprocity. For some of you, especially with the six, six of Pentacles energy, for some of you, what's been holding you back from connecting with your inner feminine has been the imbalance of give and take. So maybe you have been giving to situations that have not been reciprocal and they're not giving you back what you put in. Okay, they're literally just energetic vampires. They're just using you for their own means, for their own creative purposes, whatnot, whatever. Okay, for some of you, you've been on the other end of that. You've been the vampire yourself. Just taking, taking, taking without really giving anything back in return. All of that, are, all of that is going to be something that keeps you from connecting with your inner feminine. Why? Because the feminine represents receiving being in the receptive mode. So if there is an imbalance between give and take, obviously that's going to block you from connecting with your inner feminine or being in that receiving mode. But specifically, the energy, the feeling that I'm getting here is that there is absolutely a choice that needs to be made. There is a balance that needs to be stricken in the physical, in your three-dimensional reality that is way more in tune with, aligned with, you, what it is you truly want on an emotional level. Stop lying to yourself. Stop hiding from that. It's time for you to be authentic. Nine of Pentacles. It's time for you to live with your heart on your sleeve, to be, to allow yourself to be vulnerable in healthy ways by putting yourself out there, by going after what it is you truly want on a heart level. Knight of Cups, okay? And stop lurking. <laughs> Page of Swords. Stop lurking and just do it already. Okay. All right. So with all of that said, now I'm gonna get into the clarification section. Not the clarification section, I'm sorry. The oracle guidance for this week's inner feminine reading. Now also, ooh, yeah, okay. This page of swords energy could be also very well be about communication, all right? But clear and concise communication, it could be immature communication, you know, lack of a, of a real mature vocabulary, you could say. But also it could be communication in the terms of it's just straight up blunt, straight up truth, like no, no ifs, ands, or buts, no beating around the bush, like straight up balls to the wall truth and communicating that honestly, clearly, specifically. Okay. Yeah, see, and the feminine has really, I'm sorry guys, I'm still kind of channeling this message here. The feminine really has been working on her autonomy and in order for you to connect with her, in order for you to be at a vibrational match, you need to be working on that too, on a conscious level. Your inner feminine is really all about authenticity, individuality. Being strong and confident in who you are, what makes you unique and fun and exciting and sexy, what makes you the queen of wands energy, right? But if you're not focused on that, being authentic, being your true self, allowing yourself to live the life you truly desire, free from the stipulations of, that others put on you, then you're not going to be able to really connect with your inner feminine or even an external representation. You won't even met, you won't even come close. You will be nowhere near her, both internally and externally. So action steps that you can take to connect with your inner feminine right now, choose you. Choose you and choose to be your authentic self. 
and keep boundaries up in place that allow you to maintain that sense of autonomy. After all that, the message finally came through. <laughs> okay. Let's see here, guys. Your Oracle Guidance for loving from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck. Okay. I'm going to take these. We have two. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. We have three. Ha. <laughs> Card number 11, Finch Spirit Guide. Card number 19, Spirit Warrior. Yeah, be brave and true. Excellent. And we have card number 18, Creatrix. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. I love that we have card number 11 kicking us off. Okay. Finch Spirit Guide. It is a good time to experiment with how to, be, to best care for your mind, body, and soul. It's not about being perfect. It's about finding out what works best for you. You are in a phase of your life where giving back to yourself is important. Perhaps you have been sharing a lot of yourself with others, have come through a challenging time, or in the near future, will be stepping up in a, in a new way to share more creative energy and soul fire than ever before. All that you need to know now is that it is the right time to take extra special care of you. Okay. Spiritual guidance here says, Finch Spirit Guide comes to you with guidance to care for yourself in a particular way. Finches can become beautifully colored, but only when they eat foods that nourish them. They have the power of beauty within, but they need, to correct, they need the correct nourishment to be able to transform that potential into expression. You also have beautiful divine potential to shine your light and beauty in the world, but you must feed your soul with what it needs to do this. Be respectful and loving to yourself as you choose what to take into your being, be it physical nourishment or emotional energy, or even the kinds of books you read, any entertainment you watch, for all has an impact on you. Has an impact on you. Do you feel better for the experience? Does it nourish your soul? The best, the best growth enhancing food for your soul is that which increases love. Spinch, Finch Spirit Guide also brings a protection of a, oh, I, I'm sorry, a prediction of a celebration of happiness ahead of you and wants you to know that you, your connection to the spiritual world is real. To trust in the messages you feel from the universe as they make themselves known in your heart. Beautiful. Next, we have card number 19. Actually, let's go to 18 because we're going, it'll just be easier to go in chronological order. Creatrix. Your soul is a divine creative fire. She wants to break free from what has been giving, what has been and give life to something new. You may experience this as feelings of restlessness, of being confined or as craving for something more than you, that you cannot quite articulate. Your soul doesn't want you to push that new life away. She wants you to embrace it. When you let go your inhibitions and freely express yourself, stagnant situations will be cleared out by the powerful release of your energy, which creates openness. Let your inner artist out to play in whatever way feels fun, raw, and honest for you. It's time for you to experience something new. Okay. Um, give me a second here, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, oh, right. All right. I'm just going to read all of this. You have the need and the ability for creative self-expression. Whether it's your look, your room, your art, your altar, your journal, or your life, you need to be free to let the inspiration within find a way to take shape in the world. Some ideas will come together beautifully straight away and some will need to be revised or released completely until you feel satisfied by the expression. Your creativity is most powerful and healing when it's true. It is not about someone, getting, someone else getting it or reaching some imaginary standard of perfection or making a million dollars. The universe has a beautiful plan for your life. When we honestly and creatively express ourselves, we are playing with the universe and helping that beautiful plan to unfold. Some people won't understand the creative process, the importance of working from inner timing rather than external deadlines or learning to be comfortable in the mess of possibilities 
before the inspired idea reveals itself to you. They may question your sanity or tell you that you aren't living in the real world. You know that the world created from our hearts is more valuable, beautiful, and real than any world created from fear. Creativity is such a gift. It is worth the price of being different and not always being understood. You are an inspiration. Don't hide your creative fire away. Let it burn bright and light up the world. That's beautiful. And finally, we have card number 19, <clears throat> Spirit Warrior, be brave and true. You are learning to take, I'm sorry, you are learning the right, let me try that again. You are earning the right to make significant progress in your life. The universe will make certain you are ready for the breakdown by testing your spiritual maturity. The universe wants to make sure that you are wise enough to use our increased power and any other blessings wisely and not hurt ourselves or others. Even if no one else knows about it, you will, be, you will behave with integrity. Oh, I'm sorry. Even if no one else knows about it, will you behave with integrity and be true to yourself? Will you be kind, even when you could be in the position to judge another? Be the best human you can be and know that any tests you are going through are actually predict, uh, predictions of positive changes and divine gifts headed your way. Integrity means being true to yourself. It doesn't matter what anyone else says about it or if, your, if their values are different to yours. When you become a spirit warrior, you are learning to stand up and fight with love for what matters to you. Sometimes it can seem like spirit warriors need to live to a higher standard than others. When you need to be the better person in a situation, it's been set up that way by the universe because you can actually be that person. Not everyone is capable of that. The heavier load falls upon the stronger shoulders, but the more spiritually responsible we have, I'm sorry, the more spiritual responsibility we have, the more we are helped to succeed. The path of the spirit warrior may not seem to be the easiest path sometimes, but actually it is easier in the long term because not liking or respecting yourself eventually leads to a tragic loss of soul. Our soul brings us creative fire, passionate purpose, and love so strong we want to heal the world, as well as spiritual connection and so much more. It is worth the effort to safeguard it by living in a way that is honorable and respectful. If that means living to, to a standard that is spiritual rather than ordinary, then that's okay. It's a more beautiful and special way to live anyway. So fight the good fight, spirit warrior. Great things are headed your way and you are showing yourself worthy, I'm sorry, Yes, and you are showing yourself worthy and ready for greater success. Ooh, so there you have it, guys. Wow, okay, look at, look at just what was just thrown off the table. <laughs> look, look, guys, look, look. The page of swords, stop lurking and just start doing. It, it's like you've questioned enough. It's like you've learned enough already to know what autonomy feels like, to know what individuality feels like, to know what integrity should be for you. And I use that word specifically, should be for you. I don't like to use should, could, would, whatnot, whatever. I'm really not a big fan of that word should, but in terms of your individuality, in terms of who you are, your integrity should look a certain way. And it's time for you to get in touch with that, to get in tune with that, to be who you truly are. That's how you're gonna connect with your inner feminine. That's how you're gonna get to know your inner feminine. That's how you're going to understand feminine energies better all right guys so there you have it i hope that was helpful for you i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i look forward to connecting with you again very very soon y'all take care Mwah. bye